Hey, this is Brian B. In this video, I'm going to show you how to draw and how to create graffiti style arrows properly. Okay, so I know there are tutorials out there showing you how to do it, and most of them, unfortunately, they don't really look very good and they're just not right because they don't really show you how to do it. Okay, so in this video, let me show you how. Okay, so let's go down here. You can see there a couple different styles here this is kind of like the you know just straightforward the commercial styles like boom like that this one has got a little bit more flow into it okay and then this one is a little bit more rigid but you can tell it has that perspective going all right and this one it's got it's got that flow going it's kind of like a hybrid kind of like a combination okay so let's try this one first what basically uh well, I don't really need to do this type of framing and planning beforehand because I've been doing it for so long. But what you can do in this case is you can start with the box, as you can see, just like that. And you want to give it a little bit of perspective so it's not just like, like a box like that, but a little bit more pers uh, perspective. So it's got its, uh, its skews, it's going in like that, right? Okay, so once you have that, then you want to add in the uh, sharp arrow, kind of like that. It's just a triangle that's kind of pushed in at the bottom, so it looks like a, like kind of like an arrowhead, I guess you can say, um, a sharp arrowhead. Like that, you can add it to the top, and then at the bottom here, boom, like that. This part, you want to have it round up and have that part nice and smooth and once you finish that and you want to do it lightly then you can start tracing it in with a uh, with darker pencil or you can trace it with a the uh, fine liner and then have that go in and really solidify it and then obviously you can re erase the pencil marks so this one i mean it follows the same concept relatively uh, similar at least you want to have uh, you want to get started with the box and then you want to see what type of shape you can make out of it this one is a little bit more rigid so you would make rigid shapes from that and then the arrow itself instead of do, uh, of changing a triangle it's just going to be kind of like a two pieces of shark uh, fins not really fins but shark um, flippers I guess I don't know what I just said but anyway you get the point so you want to have them sticking out like that and then once you are happy with it then you would fill in so this one what I did is this one's a little bit different so what you want to do is you want to start of course uh, with um, with uh, I guess you can say rectangle okay so you start with a rectangle like that and then you want to apply the flow into it so it turns into kind of like a really really subtle s okay so think of an s but you want to tweak the uh, rectangle into an s but you want to make it really subtle so it turns into something like that okay and then once you've done that you want to add in the arrow at the top similarly to the uh, rectangle you want to skew it just a little bit so it's got that nice flow going in it and it complements the actual body of the arrow okay so this last one this one is really simple you start with a box okay you add the triangle at the top make it nice and flat so it's not like elementary not like a, not like a triangle like that you don't want to do that okay you want to have it nice and flat like that Okay, and then at the bottom here, what you want to do is you want to do the rectangle, and then you want to chop it up. So as you can tell here, I chopped it up, and then you want to fill in with your uh, fine liner or your pencil, so you get that nice and straight, clean effect. Okay, so those are the four different styles of arrows for your graffiti style or for your graphic and you can utilize it in any type of graphic you know posters you can do let's say logos or you can do t-shirt designs i hope this helps and until then this is brian b talk to you soon i hope you like this video make sure to check out my website to get the free urban design crash course program in this program you're going to learn three fundamental design skills and a bunch of cool stuff all right, so I'll see you there.